Hello and welcome to another episode of Faith and Freedom. I'm Garrett, a Christian libertarian. And as I like to do, I will open up this uh, segment with Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Of course, Paul was speaking to the Galatians about the slavery of the law. Um, I think this might be applicable in our situation today because people seem to be yoked to the slavery of what is popular and what is expected by secular society. And I hate to harp on this issue or else I'll have to change the name of my show to um, Faith and COVID, but uh, I do want to mention some more COVID-related stuff today because it just keeps popping up in the news. And if there's one thing I like almost as much as Christianity and freedom, it's baseball. And man, have I missed going to a baseball game so much that I just had so much fun when my, my son started playing Little League again because just to be out on the field and uh, throw the ball and watch even seven-year-olds play baseball was great. So I got excited when I saw a headline come across my Facebook feed that said, Tarp Skunks announce opening day for 2021 in June. Yes, Dietrich Park, the Jamestown Tarp Skunks will be playing baseball this year. So I opened up the article and I started reading and then I got to about halfway down and a paragraph started talking about restrictions. Seating will be segregated and restricted. There will be a section for vaccinated people that don't have to wear their masks and can get up and walk and eat and drink freely. And then there'll be another section for those that have, for whatever selfish, pitiless reason, decided not to get vaccinated and be part of the solution they're going to be in a separate section they're going to have to wear masks the whole time they're in the stadium except to eat and drink briefly and then mask back up uh they'll have hot dogs in the in the non-vaccinated section but they won't be salients um they'll probably have a selection of beer but it'll only be miller light and uh the popcorn will be from the previous game uh, you know, to save, save money on overhead costs, the popcorn left over from the previous game will be served in the non-vaccinated se section where the, uh, um, the vaccinated section will get fresh popcorn and peanuts delivered to their seats. Uh, anyway, I, I took a little liberty there to, to joke around, but it just seems like a disaster scenario. And this is all coming down from uh, state guidelines and i understand the the management of the tarp skunks in the stadium they want to open up they want to make some money unfortunately they have to play ball with what the state tells us to do because over the last three generations we've allowed government to have control over how we run every aspect of our lives from barbershops to baseball stadiums um, so that's what three generations of voting for democrats and republicans get you uh, so yeah, it's disappointing, and I think it's going to cause even more division because you'll get people in that stadium, and you'll have two groups. You'll have the you know the helping, friendly, kind, uh, generous folks that gets vaccinated, and then you'll have these marked individuals over here in the non-vaccinated uh, area for display. So up until now, we could all just walk around amongst each other, and as long as everybody decided to mind their own business and nobody asked, you could just operate under the assumption that it's it's not any of your business and you, some people might not care but now you have it right there in front of you these are the folks who are choosing for whatever reason not to get vaccinated so begin appropriate shaming and coercion at, at your will on on those folks and i don't think it's going to help the whole uh situation and the divisiveness in our culture that's been up till now largely driven by politics and i don't think it's done being driven by politics but this is just another um aspect of 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 division that gets added to an already um toxic soup so besides that there's more covid vaccine stuff in the news at the state level so 
on one of my prior episodes recently, I talked about our governor in his infinite wisdom and uh, unbridled power decided that any state university student would have to have a COVID vaccination in order to attend a state university in the fall. Um, and I discussed the the problems with that, and especially that age group that's that's missed out on a lot of important things in their lives due to these uh, COVID restrictions on their on their education and on society in general. But now the new idea is to bribe these individuals between the ages of 12 and 17. That if you get your vaccine, like a good little citizen, you are eligible to be in a drawing for free state university college tuition. As I understand it, four year free ride with room and board on the state's dime, which I may remind you is all of our dimes. And I may remind you that last I checked, we had a deficit of dimes in our state budget, but yet we're probably gonna hand out, let's call it about $120,000 a year for four year four years at a SUNY school, every single week, New York State's gonna shell that out. And it's not gonna be restricted to any sort of need. So there might be these lucky students that get drawn uh, from this COVID vaccine lottery or whatever, could be students who are very well off and may not otherwise need that much financial aid. Whereas these less fortunate students, not only are they gonna be somewhat uh, pressured into taking this vaccine, regardless of, of how they feel, they're gonna, they're gonna have that pressure on them to get this vaccine so they're, they're gonna be eligible, but there's no guarantee that those ones that need this support education-wise are gonna get it over someone who may not need it, but they also got vaccinated, so, so they're thrown in the pool. And I just think this is a, this is a terrible decision, this is a terrible policy. Um, it's poor use of, of taxpayer dollars that we really don't have. And you see it all over. You see just these incentives. Uh, the other one for adults is you get a free uh, state park pass. You get vaccinated at a certain location now. New York State will give you get into Allegheny State Park for free. Get into Lynchburg State Park for free. Uh, let people make the decision without all these incentives. If it's such a good decision and it's such a um, benefit to society, it, it shouldn't need extra extra coercion on top of it. Uh, us libertarians have a saying, um, besides taxation is theft and there's no such thing as a free lunch, the one I like best is good ideas shouldn't require force. Mm-hmm. So I'll leave you with that and you can you can think on what I said and I thank you for joining me once again on another episode of Faith and Freedom.